Hey guys, it's Saru, and I know it's taken some time, but after making sure that I had my facts right, I'm here to teach you sexy motherfuckers how to do Volt of Caprima. Or at least the boss mechanics, because I mean, that's really all you need to know. So getting right into it, you'll fight a big ass crab, which is called a Garta or something similar. For you spicy tanks out there, it's just tank and spank, just tank and spank that's really honestly just it. nothing much to really be scared of so the attack patterns are pretty much the same as the giant crab bams and for you who constantly ask what a bam is it quite literally means big ass monster i'm not making this up that's literally what it means now the only difference is that the arena that you're trapped in has extra mechanics that are not directly related to the boss itself but you will need to pay attention just in case quite frankly she has a few mechanics like i said similar to the giant crab and anyone close to her will see that you'll need to iframe or get out of most of her red attacks that's literally just it some of the attacks are the pincers which are her basic attack she'll use it on the player with most aggro and may change from left to right pincer or both in a combo of a six attack in a row mechanic sort of thing. The other is body slam, which basically she'll just jump in the air for a little bit and body slam on the ground, causing some damage. I found this happens quite often near or right as the drills, which I'll get into in a second, go and attack. The water jet is basically just her throwing water in front of herself and damaging. Easy stuff. Now, the stuff to look for is when she reaches 90% health, the drills will spawn on either side of the arena, so you'll have to pay attention to that. The boss battle will truly begin and you'll basically need to focus on the entire arena along with the boss mechanics. This is really teaching you for real endgame dungeon. At 90% 3 drills will activate allowing you to go to one of the lines which are not moving so look to your left and right to see where the drills are coming from. If they hit you, feels bad man. You'll get a debuff and lose a bit of health. You can at any time use the crab itself as a shield for the drills, but remember what I said, sometimes he'll jump and you'll get hit anyways. At 70% health, she'll have 4 drills that will activate, and at 50% and lower, a random amount of drills will activate, so it could be all 5, it could be 4, 3, or 1. Anyways, that's pretty much just it literally, and it's just repetition over and over again. After beating her, you'll fight this normal frimbalisk and just fight mobs and some statue, which is whatever, honestly, you don't really need any guide for that. Second boss is Cornus, and one of the more common bosses that I see that players end up wiping on. I don't really know why, but here we go. For you tanks, it's normal tank and spank, and if he does summon a statue, which I'll get to in a minute, just move the boss. That's literally it. That, that's it for you, baby. So most of the tank he'll just attack the tank or the person with the most aggro and sometimes attack a different player, but that's just it. He has certain mechanics that you need to pay attention to. When he says, do you really think my traps are my only trick? You'll attack in front of him. If and only if a player is hit, the player's defense will be reduced by 70% or so and will drown your resolve pretty damn quick, especially if you're a warrior or you're a lancer. You'll only do this to players with the highest aggro, so don't worry, priest. Or worry. I mean, if you have aggro, get the f*** out of their party right now. Get out. It's your only chance! When you see red statues, just move them for the love of God. Please, just move them, people! Go it will give a harmful aura, and the only way out of it is if it's cleansed or you just get out of it. Usually it'll happen if he says, Have you been enjoying my little traps? DPS players, push them the f*** out of the way, please. Just put them on the edge or something, or you're going to make it very difficult for the tank to actually go ahead and tank normally. One of the most important mechanics is when he shouts, let me show you an impenetrable defense, which increases his defense by 500 if it is successful. He is immune to damage during that time. Mystic, if you're here, hey, <laughs> how you doing? Use your regression on him. Priest. Hey, baby. <laughs> Use your Plague of Exhaustion. This will break his spell. Make sure to keep your Plague and Regression free of use as you will need to use it for this mechanic. His stacks can go up to 10 times, meaning an extra 5,000 defense. You don't want to be there for two hours. Trust me. At 70% he will shout, die you puny bugs, and select a random player charging at them in a straight line. Just get out of the line. Easy. There you go. Cor Cornus. That's... that's Pretty much it. Caprima. Ah, Caprima. Caprima, Caprima. So she'll do similar mechanics as bosses you fought before. She's going to say quite a few things, so you'll have to pay attention to the text as it affects the remainder of the following mechanics. When she says, 
Irritating pests, I shall exterminate you. She's going to damage the area beneath her in a small circle. She'll say, Vermin, I will wipe you out. All of you! Which will create a larger area or circle around her, so pay attention to the arrows. You'll either need to go inside or outside, so pay attention, please, or you will get debuffed. If by any chance you do get hit, please stop running away from the priest or mystic. Let them cleanse you. Stop running away. When she leashes you, she'll say, there is no other way. Run out as fast as possible after she's leashed you and just follow the arrow. Sometimes she'll do a damage circle on players. You'll need to use one or two of your evasive skills. Nothing too big. When she uses her sight, sometimes she will shout Dodge this. and do this big circle roundhouse sort of thing, which will knock players back and cause a debuff or bleed. Again, let the healer cleanse you and heal you and stop running away like you do in the list keep when you're the bomb. When she does her scythe attack, sometimes she'll do a big line similar to the second boss in Calvin's challenge. Just get out of the line. That's just it. She'll also use fire triplets, which is three fire orbs that she'll shoot at the player. Just avoid them and just try to get out of the way. They do hurt and you will start losing a lot of health. The last and most important mechanic that players should pay attention to is when she says, What's the meaning of this? You leave me no choice. She'll start doing her ritual. Look for the player that's stunned and has a circle underneath him or her, depending on your character, I guess. Run to them and stand on them. It's a random player, and after a few seconds, the player will be encased in a snake that will allow players to survive. You may lose some health here or there, depending on debuffs or curses, so be aware that if you do not have enough health before entering the snake head, you may die. If you don't make the snake head, you can iframe the attack, but yeah, that's it. That's Vault of Caprima, the end. I hope that helped, and if there's any questions about this dungeons or any other dungeons, please let me know, and I'll be happy to help you guys in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share with your guild members, friends, family, or ex-lovers, I don't really know. And I'll be having a video very soon on a priest ultimate guide. As always, guys, till next time, friends.